Here we are with example 11 from page 415. So let x this time equal log base 3 of p, y is equal to log base 3 of q, and z is equal to log base 3 of r. All right, write each of these expressions in terms of only x, y, and z. So first of all, we have log base 3. Okay, so that's good. These are all log base 3. P, Q divided by R. Okay, so first of all, we can separate this out using our logs of laws. Log base 3 of P plus log base 3 of Q subtract log base 3 of R. Okay, and now we can just replace these. Log base 3 of P is X. Log base 3 of Q is Y. Log base 3 of R is Z. And there's that first one. Okay, second one. Log base 3 of P squared R divided by Q cubed. So separating that out. Log base 3 of P squared plus log base 3 of R subtract log base 3 of Q cubed. Okay, now using law number three, we'll bring that square down in front as a coefficient. The second term stays the same. Bring that cube down in front as a coefficient. All right, uh, log base three of P is X, so we have two X. Log base three of R is Z, so we have Z and log base 3 of q is y, subtract 3y. And just to make it a little more incorrect, uh, put those variables in alphabetical order. And there you have it.